Hi guys, welcome back. So today in this video, we're going to see how to start a blog in India. So I'm just going to make this topic a very uh, focused one, like how to start a WordPress blog in India. Yeah, I'm going to add the WordPress blog. So actually, we're just going to categorize it into two sections, content part and technical configuration part, because both are very important. So uh, let's go with the first part, the content part. So in the content part, there is multiple options. For example, if you are if you are going to create a tech blog or a blog to be updated regularly, then there should be good communication and writing skills. Yes, it's very much important because the audience who read your blog, it should be easy for them to read and it should be easy for them to follow up as well. So there is an option as well here. So if you are just focusing your local audience, as India is a multilingual country, so there are a lot of local languages here. So for example, Telugu, Tamil. Uh, Canada, Malayalam, there are a lot of local, local languages here. So you can even create the content in your local languages. So for example, even the Google is approaching all the local bloggers to just generate content in their own local languages and they're promoting it as well. So if you are the one and concentrating the local audience, the local language is best for you. So if you are in Tamil Nadu and if you want to teach the, uh, the people in Tamil, then it's very best like you want to create a Tamil blog. So all uh, the big challenge is like the typing and uh, writing the uh, writing the things in a Tamil language. So that that will be the problem with the local language, but it should be the only difficulty. And if you overcome, you will be successful for sure. So if you are hesitating, like uh, uh, I don't know how to start a blog, I don't know like uh, how it will be. So it may be harder. I don't know coding. I, it will be technical. Just leave all those things and just come inside and just start a blog because this is the right time for you. Don't hesitate because a lot of people already came inside and they're shining already. So don't miss your opportunity and it's time for you and you should be coming up. So let's go into the topic. So it's uh, the content part. The content part is very important as I said because it should be uh, easy for your audience to grasp the point so that they will be make they will be coming as a regular visitor to your blog and they will be generating the traffic for your website. So this is the most important part. So second, let's go into the technical part. So here the technical part is like from the domain, uh, the purchase of the domain to the successful uh, website. So this is what I'm going to explain this here. But I'm going to explain it as a step-by-step process. The first step is like domain name. So you probably, you may be heard about the name domain name, but let me explain what it is. So uh, domain name is in the sense is like, uh, for example, so I have my own domain, like uh, GautamSupramaniam.com. It's my personal blog. I just mentioned everything about me, my skills, my uh, my past, like how I came online and uh, how I grew up. Like uh, these are the stuff I have included because it's my personal blog. So it's my personal opinion and I developed it. So it's up to you. Like if you are developing a personal blog, you can create it whatever you want. Like you can mention the services that you can do. You can mention the things like uh, your talents. Like uh, if you are talented in programming, if you are talented in developing, or if you are talented in testing, you want to mention everything because it's your personal blog and you want to show off your skills to the external world. So these are the things. So as I said, the domain name GautamSubramaniam.com. This is a domain name. So we can also say like Sikohouse.com. This is also a domain name. So these are the names you want to purchase. So once it's purchased, others cannot use it. For example, I have purchased a domain name GautamSubramaniam.com. So this cannot be purchased by anyone because I own it. So as I own it, others cannot buy it until I forget to rename. Coming to a point, so you want to rename it every year. So this is like uh, you cannot purchase like for days, weeks, months or uh, things. So you can only purchase it like years period. For example, you can purchase it for a year, for two years, for three years. Likewise, you can purchase, but you can't purchase it in between. Like months, you cannot purchase like in between. So I have bought a domain, GautamSupramaniam.com for a year. So next year, I want to rename it. If I forget to rename it or if I leave it, uh, if I don't have money to rename it, then it will be gone. So others can easily uh, purchase the domain. So this is how the domain strategy will work, domain name strategy will work. So you should be purchasing domain. It's not it's not much cost here. It's really affordable because it will be coming around 700 to 800 per year. 700 to 800 INR per year. So it's very easy and it's affordable as well. So you can purchase it. So coming to the next step. So I have bought a domain. What to do? So the name is ready. So there should be a place to save your contents. So for example, if in my personal book I have added my video, my images, my content, the textual content, everything is there. But we should have some space online to just make it live. So for that we will be going for web hosting. So in web hosting, what is web hosting? Is the space to host your all your contents. So uh, what you want to do is that you want to purchase a web hosting package according to you. So if you are a fresher, if you are going to start a blog, I clearly recommend you to go with Sigos.in packages. 
So the pressure starting package is just starting with 99 INR per month. It's really affordable and it will be easy for you to uh, proceed. So also you will get 30 day free, uh, free trial for the first 30 days. You can use it while developing the website. So within the 30 days, you should be having some goal is like to develop a website and to generate revenue or something. So based on that, it should be working. Then after 30 days, you will be renewing it every month or else you can get it in an early terms. It will be easy for you. So why I recommend with Seekerhost is like you will be getting like 24 by 7 chat support and uh, responsive chat support and ticketing system as well. Also, you will be getting all kind of support. Here the people will not say like it's not my part, it's your website you want to do. Even if you have any, if you just did anything wrong in the website as a beginner, you can just come up to us and uh, the team, support team will be helping us from uh, top to the bottom. It will be easy for you to handle it. So that's the only reason it will be easy for you to proceed online and we support the people who are coming online and we want you to come online right now. So if you are in a startup company or if you are a blogger, you uh, student and you cannot invest on uh, uh, hosting, then you, you can approach us with the particular documents, you can contact us, uh, they will let you know like what are the things to be submitted. So after the verification, you will be provided with the free hosting for 6 months or for a year, it depends. It depends on the uh, uh, situation and the policies. So that this is hosting. So once the domain name and the hosting is done, so you want to configure the domain name to the hosting. So it's very simple. Every hosting company will give you a name server. There will be two lines or four lines name servers. You want to just copy and update it on the domain registrar. That's very simple process. And that once it's done, then it's done. Like the domain name will be pointing to the hosting and it will be uh, made it live. That's it. So your website will be live online. So the third step, you want to install, uh, you want to design and develop a website. So uh, probably you may not have coding language, if you know you can develop it on your own coding. If it doesn't know any coding language, you don't want to worry, it's very simple because WordPress, uh, the content management system is there with thousands of plugins and themes which made it so easy. So you don't want to know coding, you don't want to worry about coding, you don't want to learn anything new, It's everything is easy and user friendly. So WordPress, so you want to install WordPress. So once you got hosting, there will be a control panel for you, using which you can install WordPress in a click. So just a click is uh, needed to install WordPress. Once it's installed, what you want to do is like you want to choose the theme. So themes in the, uh, what, what is themes? So themes is like, it will be different designs. So if you're starting in a tech startup, then you want to choose a design according to the tech blog. So if you're starting something like uh, relevant to the workshop or something, you want to choose the design according to it. So it's up to you to, it's up to you and it, your decision because it's your blog, you want to design it. So you want to design it accordingly so it will be attractive for the users to use it friendly. So this is the thing. So theme, you don't want to develop a, a website with a code. You can just install a theme and it will be made it easy. The second part is like plugins. Why I need plugins? Because there will be a lot of integrations. For example, you want to track your users using analytics. You want to uh, submit the uh, website to the Google using the sitemap. So these are the lot of things out there. So here what you want to do is like you, you can use the plugins. Just the plugins also, it's very easy and everything is free here. That's the main point. You don't want to pay for anything. So themes, plugins, there are free themes, free plugins, everything is there. You can utilize it and it will be very easy, easy for you. So uh, the plugins in the terms, you can just click on install and you click on activate, it's done. So these are the very simple process with the themes and plugins. So in the below description, I have mentioned how to install, uh, I have men mentioned the video URL, how to install WordPress. Also, I have mentioned the URL, like how to install theme and how to install the plugins. So it, these are the things, uh, very basic and once it's done, your website will be live and it's ready. So now you want to go to the next part, the SEO, optimization. SEO on the term is like search engine optimization. You want to show your blog up. For example, go to Google, uh, this is just one of the search engine I recommend. So you go to Google and search Gautam Subramanian. The top 10 results will be mine because uh, my Facebook page will be ranking, my Twitter page, my LinkedIn, my Insta, my personal website, everything will be ranking in the top 10. So nothing else will be there. So Gautam Subramanian, it's ruled, the top 10 will be ruled by me. So this is how. So if someone is entering your name, it should be showing up, right? So if you have a personal blog, it should be showing up. So that's the thing. So this is search engine optimization. So when you when people search on search engine, you should be showing up in the top. So it will be show up based on certain factors, that is SEO factors. So it is a vast topic. I will not get into deep into it, but I will just say the overview. That's it. So you can install the all in one SEO WordPress plugin. It will be very easy for you to add the SEO title, meta description, and the content stuff. So it will be very easy. So even I have uh, mentioned the description below, uh, mentioned the link in the description using which you can just see like uh, how to optimize a website. 
it will be very easy for you to follow. So this is a simple process. Once your website is optimized and submitted to Google, and if you're just generating the content regularly, if the content is up to date and everything is perfect, your blog will be started. Your blog will be started to show up in Google. So next part, what is the use of the blog? So if you are creating a personal blog, your skills will be shown to the external world. Or else if you are creating a tech blog or something, you want to get some ROI, right? So ROI in the case is like return of investment. Okay, return on investment. So what you want to do is like, once your blog gets traffic, you can submit it, submit it on Google AdSense. So Google AdSense is a platform that uh, it allows you to show ads in your website and to earn based on the clicks and your impressions. So these are the possible options. Also, there are a lot of options like uh, many, many people, like other companies will come to your blog and will ask, the, ask you to just place their banners, ad banners, and they will pay you for based on the click. So there are a lot of opportunities. So all you want to do is like, just come online, start your online journey, and it's time to do it, and you should do it. If you have any queries or if you have any difficulties or if you want me to put some other video that should help you in other means like if this is not clear or if you want me to cover any other topic please mention the points in the below description or sorry below comments so it will be very helpful for me i will do it for sure so i will do the best what i can and i will support you for sure thanks guys thanks for watching